Tuesday at Advertising Week Europe kicked off early with a particularly oversubscribed breakfast from Channel 4. The broadcaster announced that it is eyeing a partnership with ad measurement firm Moat in order to provide advertisers with independently audited data. However, the morning turned a little heated when Sally Silver from Amplify voiced the frustrations of the media industry over the current metrics hullabaloo. She said the industry was getting tired of hearing about conversations, but not seeing any action from broadcasters on the data sharing front. The Independent revealed itself to be the latest publication taking a stance against fake news today, with the launch of a new section on the website called In Fact. Editor Christian Broughton said the online channel will go live next month and will very vocally confront dubious claims made by individuals and the wider media. Dentsu Aegis has taken over the foyer of Picture House this week with an intriguing escape room experience. But it's not all fun and games. The activation is actually a glimpse of the network's new recruitment strategy. Over the past year or so, we've been working around how we start to engage more diverse candidates. So looking into people from different backgrounds, from different educational histories. At Ad Week, we're launching gamification. So we partnered with a company called Arctic Shores, who do mobile-based assessments. We've also got a live escape company, ClueQuest, which we think is really exciting. So those who come through our assessments will do a live escape game for around about an hour, and we're going to start to assess them for communication, for leadership, for team building skills. And we're doing a mini version of that game today, which is our laser top game. So you have to move dials around, uh, solve some little bits around some mirrors, and work together collaboratively to figure out what's going to happen next. And finally, in an ironic twist, Advertising Week Europe has found itself entangled in the Google ad misplacement debate. The BBC's Rory Keflin Jones tweeted today that he found an ad for the event placed underneath an anti-Semitic YouTube video, proving that although Google has said sorry, it's still going to be part of the news agenda for a while yet. That's it from me. Come back tomorrow for more news from Advertising Week Europe 2017.